Classifications of animals. Scientists have classified animals into two big groups. They are invertebrates and vertebrates. Animals without backbones are called invertebrates. Animals with backbones are called vertebrates. Their backbone is described as vertebral or spinal. This bone houses the spinal cord. They can be found just about everywhere, in oceans, rivers, forests, mountains, and deserts. The five classes of vertebrates. There are five groups of vertebrates, the fish, the amphibians, the reptiles, birds or fowl, and the mammals. The fish are the simplest of the vertebrates, while the mammals are the most complex. Fish. They are the largest group of vertebrates. They come in many sizes and shapes. The body parts of fish are suited for life in water. The bodies of most fish are covered with scales. They reproduce by laying eggs. Fish are able to breathe in water because they have gills. Gills enable the fish to take in oxygen from water, which is important for their survival. Fish are cold-blooded animals. This means that their body temperature adapts to the temperature of their habitat. Amphibians Amphibians can live on land and in water. As they grow, their gills disappear and replaced by lungs. They take in oxygen in two ways either through the lungs or through the skin. Amphibians are cold-blooded animals. Frogs, toads, and salamanders are the most common amphibians. Amphibians have different body covering or skin. Frogs have smooth and moist skin. Toads have bumpy and dry skin. Salamanders have thin and moist skin. These amphibians live in creeks, ponds, and streams. Reptiles There are four kinds of reptiles. They are the crocodiles and alligators, turtles and tortoises, lizards, and snakes. The body of a reptile is covered with scales and hard bony plates. Its skin is dry and cool. Like fish and amphibians, reptiles are cold-blooded animals. All reptiles have lungs. Many of them live on land, while some live in water. Reptiles can move at various speeds. They lay their eggs on land. They live in hot, dry deserts and in warm, wet, tropical rainforests. Birds or fowl. Birds are warm-blooded animals. Their body temperature does not change in any kind of weather. Their bodies are covered with feathers, which keep them warm. They reproduce by laying eggs. All birds have a pair of wings, but some cannot fly. They also have two legs for walking. Some common birds are chicken, ostrich, duck, and pigeon. Mammals Mammals are the most highly developed among the groups of vertebrates. Their bodies are covered with hair or fur. They have mammary glands that secrete milk, which they use to feed their young. They are warm-blooded animals. Mammals may be grouped into three groups according to the way in which individuals develop the fertilized eggs. 1. Placentals 
They are mammals wherein the embryo receives nutrients and oxygen from the mother's body through an organ called placenta. Examples are dogs, cats, and elephants. 2. Marsupials They have pouches where their young complete their development. Examples are kangaroo and koala. 3. Monotremes They are egg-laying mammals. Examples are duck-billed platypus and short-billed echidna. What are invertebrates? Invertebrates are animals without backbones. You may have seen many animals without backbones. Most of these animals can take care of themselves as soon as they are hatched from eggs. Invertebrates live and grow in different ways. Insects are the largest group of invertebrates. They are animals with six legs. They use their legs in moving around and capturing and holding their food. Most of them have one or two pairs of wings, which they use in moving about from one place to another. Insects live in almost all parts of the world. Many insects are found on land, while some in water. Some kinds of butterflies and dragonflies live at the top of the mountains. There are those that live on the bodies of other animals. Still, others make their homes within the bodies of plants.